Any questions from anybody before we I turn this over to Omar? And Omar, you want to introduce your uh, assistants and this also? This is Omar Moses. Omar Wally Moses. <laughs> Yeah, well, I just want to say one thing about Omo. Omo came. Is that all that we've got? You got your, you have a table. Huh? Everyone has a table, so you can um, you can move around and work with me and, and help out and do that type of stuff. All right, so if you don't if you don't um, sit with any group, you can have two you know two of y'all can work in a group. First, I would ask for all the assistants to stand up, and then we can go around and introduce ourselves. And the assistants are going to be the ones that I'm going to be working with to communicate with during the workshop. And they're the ones that have uh, more experience in what we're doing. And we went over some of the stuff this weekend. And some of the stuff you see on the wall is stuff done by um, some of the students in the group over, over the weekend. So starting at this table, Mike, stand up, say your name again. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is Michael Porter, and at this table you have two assistants. You also have all right. Next table, no assist. Who's over, who's over there? No one's over there. Sammy. So Sammy, you can go to that table. Uh, you can go go to that table back there, the back table. So Sammy, who are you? <laughs> All right, next table. And we've done um, a couple of workshops and a couple of different exercises and these have been the main group of students that I've worked with, and I'm trying to um, bring more students in, but they've been, um, I guess, peer teachers, and they've been helping me when I do workshops, helping with the other students or teachers or adults that are there. And um, today they're going to help you out and help me out. Um, does everyone have a copy of Lesson 10? You need one. Go back to um, yours should be at the back table. One with your name on it. All right. What we're going to do today is, and I'll give you a quick outline of what we're going to do today and how that's going to lead into the series of workshops um, these next three Mondays. Today, um, the first step is to work through this lesson 10, and this is a lesson about constructing equivalent or equal trips. And we're going to use that lesson to get it to form a base, and then from that lesson, we're going to go on and um, construct trips on those maps that some of the students created. And I have um, a little um, worksheet that, um, that's back there that I'll give out to y'all that y'all can fill out, which um, has basically those same maps some of the tables, and we're going to work through that. And then the third thing is to um, take that information and to recreate the trips and onto the graphing calculator. And we have Shantane 
was a calculator wizard who's gonna junior calculator wizard <laughs> who's gonna help us out with all that. Um, to do this, I guess each group or each table can consider themselves a team. And for the first part, what we're gonna do is to go into lesson 10 and look at the different trips. And then if you look on um, page 31, I mean 133. And it might either be 133 or 132, but either way it's a chart and it either should say team chart or individual chart. Um, if, you, if yours is, check to see if you have another one, so use the blank one. If you have one that's filled out, use the next one. All right? Now in the chart, if we look at the table, we have equivalent trips, and then what are the features that are listed for equivalent trips in the chart? Start, finish, number of stops, and direction. Start, finish, number of stops, and direction. So what we're going to do is to look at the different trips and use these features as our basis for equivalence. And then we're going to construct examples looking at the trips of, feature, of trips that, um, that um, use uh, one of the features that are, are listed. And what, what we want to create is either use one feature or a combination of features and see how many we can do um, in this table. And then your team, if you look up here, you have a table with trips, start, finish, two of those tables. As your team comes up with um, an example of a trip which fulfills one of the features for equivalence, then they're going to come up and write that trip in one of those boxes. And if you see um, a similar trip already in there, then don't write it. What, you want, what we want to do is to get as many different examples using the different features as possible. All right, so quickly, I'm going to go through one example, and then as, as, your, as a group, we're just going to you work together and try and fill out this table. All right, so if we look at page 130, And on, on 130, it's a um, sample of trips upon which the construction is based. And you have 130 and 131 are just samples of different trips. Well, I'm going to say trip 1 is equivalent to trip 2 because they go in opposite directions. All right? Now, if we look back over to the table, you have direction as a feature. You don't have opposite direction as a feature. You have direction. So what I did, I, I made my own um, basis for equivalence that, that is not being used in the table. All right? But all it is is I'm using the direction, and I'm taking direction and manipulating it instead of saying just they have the same direction, I'm saying they have the opposite direction. All right. Now, for, for our purposes, since we're working through the table, you're going to try and come up with trips that um, are examples of the features in the table. If you have, any, if you have um, a trip like I just said, like trip um, one is equivalent to trip two because they have opposite directions, then just write that trip out in a sentence because you can't put that trip in the table because there's no um, feature in the table which says opposite direction. All right, so if you come up with any trips which um, are not, which the features aren't listed in the table, then just write it out in a sentence, all right? And then we can go over those, like the different ideas people had later. All right, so to start, um, and the helpers can get, help get everyone started, let's make as many equivalent trips as we possibly can using the features. When you get your trip, um, just come up and fill out the table. All right, so what, um, for the first part, you're just going to help me out, all right, because we're not going in the calculator for a minute. Huh? You can use, use that paper right there. Use the table, use the chart. Now you're going to use the chart, yeah. Yeah, use the chart. Um, 
Yeah. I mean, as a group, you know, work together, First come up with an down, example. Right. And if you say you already have something, you can write one up there. Mm. All right, get um, come back here for a second.
So if we look back at what Java came up with, she said that trip one and trip two are equivalent because um, when added together, when you add the number of stocks together, they equal trip four. So let's look at trip one and trip two. How many stocks does trip one have? Four. Right. How many stocks does trip one have? Four. Three. How many stations does trip one have? Four. All right, so there's a difference. The number of stocks. So to calculate the number of stops, you go to the starting station, and then one movement to the next station is considered one stop. So the trip from one um, station to the next is one stop. The next station is another stop. The next station is the, um, the last stop, a total of three stops. And then if you want the number of stations, then you count each station on the trip. So the trip has three stops and four stations. So she's saying the number of stops, which is added to the number of stops for trip two, which is what? Trip two has two stops, so two plus three gives us five. And she's saying trip four has five stops. Is that true? All right, so that's another, that's a good definition. I mean, that's a good example of how you can um, manipulate the features to come up with a basis for equivalence. All right, so we have three more, three back there.
two July five and six, man. Which one? One and two July five and six. So one and two. What about one and two? July five and six. Where um when when number five start number six end. Yeah. All right. So last um the middle sentence. Two five nine. Who wrote that? What's that? Two five nine. So did everyone hear that? No. So what is again, let's hear.